Rowan, it's great to have some young blood in the industry. We've got a Doosan DNM 5700 in action here at today's event. Just tell us what you're doing on the part on the table first, on the rotary table. Okay, so on the rotary table, we've got a cam carrier, which is a it's a demonstration of a, a standard automotive part. It, it's not a, an exact representation, but it shows the processes that someone might be doing if they were producing a cam carrier like this. So we've got half bore intermittent cutting with one of our ZMAG boring solutions. We've got some roll tapping to produce very, very strong threads, and we're using a, a Nikon Zero Fit, which achieves almost zero run out for, for, for a reaming operation. So if I was an engineer looking at this, what, what would I be impressed with? Well, this machine has a, has a five-axis rotary table, obviously, so we're doing five-sided five, five -sided machining, which allows us to, to index to all five sides of the part and do reaming operations and boring operations, and it maintains you, it allows you to maintain the tolerances so you can tie these two operations up and keep the features all together. It'd be a bit cumbersome to have to keep moving the part round. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, tell me about part number two. What are you doing here? What are you demonstrating? Okay, so part number two is just a standard part. We have a few boring operations. We have some drilling. We have some more reaming. Uh, we have a bit of thread milling and some high feed cutting. We also have some trichoidal milling. This is just a, a huge range of steel cutting uh, processes that we are trying to show nick and tooling with. So we have multi-locks, we have major dreams, we have slim chucks. We've got every kind of nick and tooling we offer on this, on this part and we're trying to show that. And you're achieving what you're achieving with this as a, as a result of the combination of the Doosan machine from Mill CNC yeah. and the auxiliary equipment like the tooling? Yeah, definitely. With the base and tape of Deuce and Spindle, we've, we've been able to achieve uh, higher cutting speeds and feeds in these steel parts than we would have been able to with maybe a standard taper tooling. And what are they? What are those feeds and speeds? Okay, so for the high feed face milling, we're achieving 7 metres a minute, which is a, a 0.8 feed per tooth, 180 metres a minute in en one a steel with a high feed uh, cutting edge. For high feed tri for trichoidal milling, we're taking a, a 25 millimetre depth with I think maybe a 3 mil step over at 2,000 mil a minute. So as a machinist, I'm going to come here and watch this. I'm going to be impressed by that, aren't yes. I? Yes, uh, yeah, I would think so. But what about the third part? Tell me a little bit about what that is and again, maybe some of the features that you're trying to get across here. Okay, so the third part is a, is a high feed tool, which is a, a collaboration between Kaiser and Nikon, where we were trying to show high, uh, high productivity steel machining using this Doosan platform as the main base, as a solid machine to start trying to increase your speeds and feeds and increase your metal removal rate. Tell me a little bit more about that and your knowledge of the Doosan machine. You talk about the build and the speed. For you, is it doing everything that you need it to do? And could you do what you're doing without a machine of this quality and stability? I've got to say, the, the Doosan machine bed is absolutely huge. Without, this, without a machine of this size, I wouldn't be able to cut as many demos as I am at the moment. With maybe a smaller machine, all I'd be able to fit on was a rotary and the rest would be dead space. But because we've got such a wide working table and because it's such a strong machine, we can cut a variety of materials at the same time. So we can cut aluminium high speed with a 12,000 uh, RPM, but we can also cut this steel with maybe a lower RPM, but with a much higher feed rate because it's such a strong machine. And managing your path to production, the control is important. And we've talked a lot about the easy operation package. What's your experience on that from Doosan? Well, the easy operation package is like an add-on to the FANUC control. And this adds extra functions, such as showing me my tool parts, it shows me warm-up cycles that I need to run, it shows me everything that I need to know as an operator just to run my machine as quickly, as effectively as possible. Rowan, if you chose to venture into a machine shop environment and got involved in the procurement of machine tools, would this be on your list or high up your list or even maybe top? the Doosan machine? I think definitely. This is just a staple of a machine tool that I've seen. We've got some other machine tools that may be high speed, they may be a different kind of size, but this is an absolutely stable machine that I would, I would love to run, basically. It's, it's my baby.